There we go. Again, we're hoping you can find us here and jump back on. Again, very sorry there about it cutting out. We'll catch you up on those two minutes that I think you missed. Something about that, two or five minutes of gameplay action. And with that, it was the Twisters killing off one penalty. There's 36 seconds remaining on the second penalty. The first one was for too many men. I don't actually know what the second one was. I was too busy running around here trying to get set up. I'll let you know here in a minute. And they also killed off uh, got Van Dyne's interference with 30 seconds left on the opportunity here for the Canucks as that gets cleared all the way down the ice. Nice play there by the Twisters to work it out. Canucks, they work it on the near side. To off the stick of Butler, Twister's trying to get it out. Anderson holds his own. He'll pass it across. He'll get it right back to Butler. Butler across. Shot through traffic. Will Rock holds on for the whistle. And here's that save by the Rock. As uh, a nice cycle there by the Canucks. And now we see our numbers jump up again. Like I said, thank you for joining us. We're still trying to figure out to get the best live stream set up here in the arena. And we are up. We should be good to go. Jamming out of loose on the Canucks. And that one's just wide. And we got a stoppage in play. There's an injured Canuck on the play. See if we can see on the replay. And no, nope, just caught the end of it there. And as we have a stoppage there, the down Canuck is, makes his way there. Didn't get a number for you. Power play has expired for the Canucks, so the Twisters kill off too. After the after the Canucks kill kill off too early on in the play. Face off coming out of the zone. Like I said, we'll try and monitor the feed and keep it more steady for y'all. Bouncing puck. Picked up now by Van Dynes. Van Dynes walks in, he fires, loose in front, he shoots again, and just wide of the net. Bouncing puck continuing as they play hockey here. Canucks working it on the near side to William. He'll play that ahead and play it in by Van Dynes. Off a couple sticks. Controlled by the Canucks. Canucks, they work that all the way down the ice. Played ahead. Past Sutherland and all the way to Gertson. Gertson, he walks in and that gets kicked into the corner. Van Dyne says quick shot. That's off the glass. 12 12 on the clock here in the third. As William chases it in, the Rock, he goes way over his net into the danger zone to play that and makes a nice pass out of it. Neil, he'll work it back to their own zone for the Canucks. Shots are 28-24 is your update in favor of Pemna Valley. Rock again out of his net as he's learning some tricks and tips, maybe from ends. Hard hit there on Hayden Thomas as the Twisters scoop it up behind the Canucks net. They fire that one just wide. Still working with it here. Again, just so making sure your feed there is good. Around behind the net to Xander Carroll's quick shot. Back to Wood. Wood, he'll play it low. There's a shot by Carroll's, and that comes into the netting, bring us a stoppage in play here. <laughs> 11 16 on the clock. Shots this period. Five for the Pemina Valley Twisters. Meanwhile, a total of seven for the St. James Junior Canucks.
Up the draw. Hepner, he fires that one just wide. Still working with it. Jalker, he'll play it back to the point. And the Twisters can't hold the zone. They'll send it in. And they're going to get called, I think, at the line where that went into the netting. Again, hard to see from the angle on Matt. Exactly 11 minutes to go here in regulation. 3 2 is the difference, thanks to Riley Gertzen. Jolliker, he'll play that into the zone. Picked up by the Canucks in their own zone. Plenty of time to go here in this one as that gets cleared all the way down. It's going to be a nice and charge against the Canucks at 1043. Broken stick off the draw. Carroll, he'll scoop that one up and he'll send it into the zone. Off a couple sticks. Canucks on the near side. Trying to play that ahead. Picked up by Kyle Van Dines. Van Dines, he'll circle around, throw traffic. Fire that in, glove down by Ironson, and he'll play that in right back into the twister zone. And Jalker, he rubs off a hit. And DeGrave walks in, circles back. Couldn't get a shot away. Now Jalker trying to find a shooting lane into the final 10 minutes here of regulation. Across to Wood, down low, Twisters. Getting it going here in the attack zone, back to Wood. Down to Weeb, Weeb puts on the brakes and changes course, no one in front to tap that one home. And here's the opportunity for three for the Canucks. And they fire that one just wide, and Clark's going to scoop that one up. And he'll take a hard hit, get right back up, fire that one in on net. Flutters dangerously into the net, they score. And it's waved off. It's waved off. And there is a lot of booing here. We're going to look at the replay here. I don't think it got hit with the high stick. Oh. Got head butted in is what they're going to say. And that's why it didn't count. And but that, let's so adjust the score there. So yeah. Still working with it now, William. He'll put on the brakes as he plays it in around behind the net. And Clark, he gets knocked to a knee. Picked up by the Twisters. Paulette works it out, is trying to get it out of the zone. William plays it back in. Dangerous opportunity down low. Centering into the slot, quick shot by the Canucks. And the Twisters getting their active six on it. Mason Vendel again centering that one. Picked up by Bergman. Twister's got three. They got to go. Bergman across to Clark. Clark backhand and holding on for that one. Still loose in front after making the initial save. Twister's working now here. They'll go for a change as they work that puck deep into the zone. And Mason Vendel will go for a change as he plays it in at the red line. 8.35 on the clock. Off a couple sticks, Gertzen trying to work it ahead. And Sutherland breaks that one up off his stick and played in by the 20 of Magnum Grindle. Trying to fire that one in is Grindle in on net. And instead they got a twister with a two on one. Gertzen going over to Sutherland. Gertzen keeps it and he takes a shot just wide of the net. And continuing to jam at that puck down low. Glove by the Canucks, played ahead for it by Jacob Carroll. So we got a stoppage in play. And with that, we got an update here on that goal for the Canucks, their second goal. You can add assist on that one to the 15 of Chase Sobey. So give him assist. And as well as the Twisters' last goal, there's a couple of guys to get 
some assists added to that Gertzen goal will give you them at the next break. Eight minutes to go on the draw. And chasing that one down and into the zone is Aiden Bruce, and he gets rubbed out of the play. Puck can't get a kill. Price in front as he's goes to screen the goal tank keeper. And now Cohen Thomas still working on the near side. Thomas chasing that down. Played ahead by the Canucks. And that gets cleared in. The Rock out to play it. And the Twisters turn that one over in the defensive zone. And initial save made. Rebound loose in front. The Twisters able to clear it out of the zone. Canucks, they walk in. Play it across. Very slow change for them. And... So they had a little bit of a miscommunication there, trying to get enough guys on the ice. Canucks are now on the far side. Walking in comes Younger. Younger waits, fires, and I don't know if that got through. If it did, LaRock was there standing his own. Einerson holds it at the point. His slap shot through traffic, and calmly gloving that is Owen LaRock. Possibly some extracurricular activity after the whistle. And there's a look at that opportunity for the Canucks. Merrick DeGrave and Mike Hepner add them on the assist to the Gertzen goal. Off the draw, Jalker trying to stick that ahead, hit a Canuck up high, and Sobey chasing down that loose puck as it's on DeGrave's stick. The grave now, he'll turn it over behind his net. Couldn't see exactly which number picked it up. Picked up now by the six here of Einerson. And down low to Younger. Pressure by Dick. Still working with it. Here come the Twisters as they come out of the zone. Moving it ahead. Dangerously at the line, walking in his wave, and it's save made on that opportunity, and that goes out of play. Bring us the stoppage in play at 6.02. Off the draw, quick shot, save made on the opportunity by Gilbert. Back to the point. Shot just wide of the net by the Twisters on that opportunity there. Still jamming at it against the sideboards. And Jacob Carroll plays around into the zone. Canucks, they work that across. Picked up by Mason Vandell. Mason Vandell walks in, steps over the blue one and plays that all around to the other side. Griffin Hyde there and Slade Southern, another 25 on the ice, picks that one off. He'll play the head to Alex Van Dines. Alex Van Dines got to go. He takes a shot from a tough angle. That's behind the net. Gertzen plays it right back behind the net. For Van Dines, he centers. Gertzen trying to get a stick on that, looking for the hat trick. He can't. And... Now here come the Canucks going the other way, walking in through traffic. And Russell with some good, strong D. And we got a stoppage in play here at, uh, at 4.58. Off the draw. Twisters, they work it back around behind the net. Russell now, he'll work it ahead. People that still working with it now. And jamming at it, we got a stoppage in play here. 4.42 on the clock. Shot update for the period. The Canucks, the total of eight, Pemina Valley, Twisters, they got a total also of eight shot through traffic, just wide rebound. Dangerous in front, puck skips up into the air. Played by Russell, he'll play to, trying to get to Gertz and kill a price, picks that one off. Quick feet by him. 
to Gertson. And a bad turnover in front. A little bit of a tangle with it. And Price picks it up as he walks over the line. And blocking that one is Russell. Kalen Russell behind his net. Dodging and brushing off the hit. Not really dodging it from Price. And he was seeing that through traffic and holding on for a whistle is Owen LaRock at 4.04. Again, I'm your host, Bentley Brown, with my cameraman, Josh Keck. Down to the final four minutes here of play in game number one of the Jack McKenzie Trophy. Here in the finals, should be a good one. And off the draw, controlled by the Canucks. And that's off the mask, played ahead by Carroll's. Carroll, Xander Carroll's defense on that one. Jacob Carroll's got to turn back. As Walking in is Neil. Neil to the backhand, just wide of the net. Canucks trying to center it. There's a shot through traffic, just wide of the net. And Van Dyne still working to Clark, and that puck ends up on the I beam, bringing us a stoppage in play. Right, and that is not something you see every day. There's a look at the replay of that. You can't see it. I thought maybe you could. It's out of reach of the camera angle for us. And we'll get ready here as they get back to the action with another frozen biscuit, 3.34 on the clock. Another win by St. James. And William works it back to Anderson. Puck jumps up. William, he'll glove that down. Picked up by the Twisters. Here's a breakaway opportunity for Jolliker, and he gets taken out. And that's the end of his rush. Here's an opportunity going the other way for the Canucks, and they center it just wide in the net. Griffin I he'll work for it. High trying to center it to William, and William couldn't get a shot away from Mason Vendell on the pass. Loose puck in front. Hayato and a stone cold save by the Rock. And here's a look at the replay. The Rock sprawling out. Somehow gets a stick, and I can't believe it. What a save, as I told you, these goaltenders putting on a show here in game number one. And what has been a game of inches. And off the draw, Whiteley, he plays that in. Played ahead by Bergman to Clark. Clark trying to work it back to Bergman. He's got a chase for that puck. He gets rubbed out by Neal. And he'll have a little bit of a tangle up with Neal behind the play as they continue on into the final three. Canucks behind their net. Now they turn that one over off the stick of Poet. Poet now working against Neal. And long stretch pass, picked up by the Twisters. Twisters work it back. And now turning that one over to William. Save made on the opportunity. He, William didn't get much of a shot. And the Twisters able to clear it all the way out of the zone. Canucks, working from behind their net. Trying to set something up, pressure by Weeb. You can't see the number there for the Canucks, trying to set that one up. It's a 22, as that comes in off a couple sticks. Twisters play back the other way. Where Neil, he'll work at the Price. Price turns in, and boy, he's quick. Those skills and those moves there, but couldn't do much. What does he put it back, and here's a chance for Weeb, going the other way with the grave. Weeb walking in, and he fires that way. He got blocked, couldn't find it, and he'll get it back, and he'll get pinned against the boards. 90 seconds to go in regulation. Trying to clear that out. That's going to down and played ahead for it by Osterman. Osterman saves that across. Gilbert looking ready to go. Cohen Thomas gets it out of the zone, and Gilbert retracts into his net, and Gilbert goes out to play it. Picked up by Xander Carroll. Gilbert jumps out, makes a save. Rebound, what a save by Gilbert. And the great goal thing continues on here as we're down to the final 60 seconds. As the Canucks clear it in, and Gilbert heads to the bench. Empty net for the Canucks. Jacob Carroll still working ahead to Clark. Xander Carroll jamming at it. William, he'll pick it up, play down low. Bouncing puck. Down to the final 35. 
The stadium has come alive here at the Edmund Gold Arena. Deflected in front, jamming at it. And, and Clark has it to line of stick, pin behind the hand boards. And there's a whistle with 23.5 seconds. And here is a look at that replay. First, jumping up and making the save was Gilbert right there with the jump save. And then sliding out, Dominic Kasich, pads up in the air and making the save. With that, the Canucks will call their timeout. 30 second timeout. Shots lined up at 34 apiece in this one. As the Rock gets a cheer from the visitors as he skates towards the Twisters bench here. Both these teams have built great franchises and for that you could almost call them dynasties in these last couple of years with how dominant they have been. As we're ready to go here for the final 23 and a half seconds, the Rock back in his net, anticipating the faceoff coming here to his right. It's Price in on the draw against the grave and here we go and that's one mason vendel going to scoop that up twisters pinning against the sideboards as the skirmish for the puck william trying to move it out price gets it out price walks in center the canucks fire over the net 10 seconds to go back to the net and Wiley comes out of the net no they're going to say they held the zone picked up by hapner and hapner for working into the boards there's the horn there's the final. The Twisters take game one. Three to two. It's your final here from the A. McDonald Arena. And what has been a thriller as the Twisters pour on to the ice to congratulate LaRock. Twisters taking game one by score of three to two. And with that, we will head you to your three stars in tonight's hockey game. Your third star in tonight's game, he had a total of 31 saves. He was electric, giving their team chances right to the end. From the St. James Junior Canucks, number 30, Noah Gilbert. Your second star in tonight's game. He was a good hard worker. He got rewarded with a couple of goals, including a right one was turned into the game winner. He also started the scoring off in this one. From your pair of eyes, Twisters, with two goals tonight, your second star, number 13, Riley Gerson. Your first star in tonight's game, from the Pembina Valley Twisters, he ended off the night with a total of 32 saves, picked up the win on the road. From your Pembina Valley Twisters, your starting goaltender, Number 35, Owen LaRock. And with that, the series continues on to Morris. Twister's trying to continue rolling on with taking game one here out in St. James. That will be Sunday at 7 p.m. And if you can't make it out to that game, again, you can watch it live with us here on the broadcast. And then Tuesday, 8 p.m., we're right back here at the McDonald Arena for what will be a throwing three, another throwing game three in the series. And, and with that, that will be carried by the G show. Me and him are trying to get something together, so hopefully we can do that. We will find a way to broadcast through those games. With that, signing off. I'm your host, Billy Brett, lost my chairman, Josh Keck. It's Riley Gerson, finding the back.